morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another World Pack Talk show. My name is Lillian Benzi, and I am WPO Press and Communication Officer. As known by many of you, WPO as a global packaging institution supports important trade shows around the globe. But one of our oldest partners is IPAC IMA. Considered one of the most important packaging, processing, and logistics shows in Europe and recognized all over the world, IPAC IMA is a reference to the packaging value chain and attracts visitors and exhibitors that search for innovation. And this edition will be much more innovative because WPO will held its board meeting and the amazing world star ceremony during this big show that goes from May 3rd to 6th in Milan. And to tell us more about what to expect, what to see in IPAC IMA 2022, I have the pleasure of interviewing today Rosano Bodzi, CEO of IPAC IMA. And together with him, I also welcome my WPO colleague, Soha Atala, that is also the World Star Coordinator. Remember that World Star is the global packaging competition organized by WPO. So welcome, Rosano. Welcome, Soha. Uh, thank you, Lilian, and thank you for the invitation and a great uh, ciao to everyone who is listening to us. Hello, everyone from around the world. So let's begin the show. And the first question goes to Rosano. After more than two years of pandemic, coming back to a physical show, a physical exhibition is for sure a big challenge. What we can expect from IPAC IMA 2022 and what are being the, the biggest challenges to produce this during pandemic show? Well, uh, first of all, I would say finally, because uh, after a long time of staying in front of a screen, we are finally able to go back to exhibitions. And we are proud to say that this will be the first exhibition, uh, general packaging exhibition, taking place uh, in person and luckily in Italy. So finally, after months of uncertainties and troubles and delays, we are ready. We are ready and we have done a very strong job. Uh, me, of course, my team and my colleagues uh, of Fiera Milano. And also let me say a big thank you to all our companies which are following us and all our partners which are giving us trust. Um, how to say, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to come back alive because uh, uh, the human factor is a very important uh, feature in business. And uh, I would say that uh, there's no screen, there's no phone call, there's no video call, there's no remote, con remote control FAT that can substitute in business, in our business, in packaging business, the importance of relations, live relationship. Um, what do you expect from IPAKIMA 2022? It's a good question because we have uh, a lot of things to say and a lot of contests to be presented. Uh, but we would start from uh, uh, the first content we have to offer to our visitors, which is our exhibiting offer. Uh, companies during the pandemic period did a great job uh, sometimes changing their business model. So it wasn't easy for them to uh, uh, react first, uh, to approach the market in a resilient way, and finally to invest in a trade show, show such as Ipakima. So my congratulations goes to the industry uh, players, which are uh, numerous attending the show, both in terms of exhibitions and also visitors. Um, some trend topic which 
could uh, summarize what uh, everyone will find into our show uh, are uh, the connectivity, the customization, the digitalization, and the automation. These could be, if I can say, the trend topic of IPAKIMA 2022. And uh, let me say that these are the features that allow our companies to resist uh, during the pandemic and also after the pandemic, because unluckily, there are some troubles, some troubles, still some troubles around the world, which uh, didn't uh, uh, let us in the condition to uh, have the uh, show which will emerge at the beginning. But at the end, we are here. We are here with a lot of things to say, a lot of things to do. And let me say that uh, together with this digitalization and automation, we will have uh, the sustainability as another trend, uh, trend, uh, trend, trop, trend topic, which will be very, very well represented during our show. Uh, Today, we have confirmed more than 1,000 exhibitors coming from 27 countries, and we will cover eight halls with more than 800 buyers coming from worldwide uh, expected at the show. Of course, some uh, friends and colleagues and partners coming from China couldn't be with us this time. And also, of course, uh, uh, those coming from Ukraine and Russia. And my thoughts goes to those countries and those population which are under under the bombs in this in this stage. Um, to, 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 I have been, been reading a lot, uh, Rosano, about the the innovation alliance. So. What we can expect from this? Is it an attraction? Is it a new way of promoting a show? What exactly is this Innovation Alliance? The Innovation Alliance is, is a strategic project for Ipakiman and for those exhibitions taking part in this strategic project. We are talking about four shows, but before mentioning the shows, I would like to say that in Ipakima we will have a, a brand new cooperation which complete our exhibiting offer, which is called Farming Tech. Farming Tech actually is covering the life science industries coming from uh, uh, with an entire whole uh, covering the pharmaceutical, the biotech, the nutraceutical, the cosmeceutical and the medical devices uh, business communities. And uh, it will be interesting to see how the exhibiting offer will become again complete uh, uh, instead of the previous edition. But going back to your question, I have to say that the Innovation Alliance project, uh, it's a very interesting project, which we are honored to be part of. And uh, I can say proudly that it's one, uh, it's a unicum into the European exhibition scenario because it puts together different shows in order to complete the exhibiting offer much more than expected for our professional visit in the show. So with one single ticket, you can join for shows, uh, Ipakima, of course, and uh, Farming Tech, as I said, but together with Intralogistica Italia, uh, focusing on goods handling and warehouse management. Then we have Print for All, for what concerns the converting and the printing technologies for the industry. And the first edition of Green Plast, which is a spin-off event of Plast, uh, the, the great exhibition of plastics and rubber taking place every three years in Milan, which unluckily, due to the pandemics, uh, could not be with us uh, in, in the full, uh, let's say, in the full version. But Green Plast is going to be a new conference with exhibition, uh, including, uh, taking place uh, together with the other shows and talking about uh, the plastics and rubber industry with a point of view, particularly focused on green packaging and on green um, technologies, environmental sustainability, energy efficiency, and also circular economy, which is very important to be put on, on, on stage uh, for the upcoming uh, generation, but not only. Okay, that's great. So with so many attractions, so much to expect, 
Now I want to have a highlight about uh, one of WPO attractions at IPAC IMA 2022. That is the physical ceremony of World Star. So Soha, the uh, yeah. World Star <laughs> coordinator. How is it to have this physical ceremony after almost, uh, almost no, more than two years waiting more for it? More about it. Uh, first of all, thank you, Lilian, for organizing this uh, talk show. And uh, also, I would like to thank uh, Rosano and his team. I would like to thank IPAC IMA and our uh, Italian uh, Packaging Institute, our WPO member, for hosting this physical World Star Ceremony for 2022. As you said, we are very excited. Me, personally, I'm excited. I'm uh, really counting the countdown, as we said. Also, all the winners, you cannot imagine whenever the moment that I announced, because remember Rosano in January, we had Omicron was very high and then we were waiting. So in February, the moment that we announced together, that finally we are thrilled to announce that it's going to take place. Really the winners, I was really emotional because everybody was saying, yes, finally we're gonna greet the BPO president. We're gonna get our trophies on stage. Really the past two years, uh, we managed to do it virtually, but really sending out the trophies by shipment is really another feeling than getting your trophy on stage from WPO president. So really, we are very happy to be able to organize uh, the World Star Ceremony, especially also we are very lucky to organize it with IPAC IMA. So we have like many attractions, as he said, IPAC IMA and Pharmatech and World Star. And, but yes, we are also resilient, both of us, WPO and IPAC IMA, because we are organizing it in a very difficult situation, really, despite the corona, we have now the war. So it's a very, I know that we are survivors, as we said, very resilient and perseverance. We, we wanted to make it happen, despite the fact that some of the winners from China and Japan won't be able to make it in other countries due to the travel restriction, but so far I'm happy to announce to you that so far we have around 200 participants in the award ceremony and we still have uh, more, I'm telling you till, till today. So really eager to see everyone and to greet them finally and to celebrate packaging excellence and packaging innovation from around the globe. And, and so uh, considering what uh, Rosano said in the beginning about innovation, about uh, being the stage for innovative solutions, what we can expect to see? Of course, you are not going to tell us the winners, but uh, give me an overview of uh, the innovations we can yes. see among the winners of World Star. Yes, I will tell you something that uh, Rosano also said that really we are proud and we want to congratulate the packaging community and the packaging industry because the, despite these tough two years, they managed to show their commitment to excellence and innovation and to sustainability. The number one highlight of World Star winners is sustainability. Everyone is like obsessed with sustainability. Among all the entries, really, among all the entries, uh, uh, the top one uh, the category that received a lot of entry is food and beverage and uh, packaging material. But I can tell you that the sustainability category really uh, received a lot of attention and we had more than 100 entries for sustainability. Last year, it was 50. So you can see it doubled. So uh, a lot of innovation are focusing on sustainability, number one, convenience and the uh, hygienic aspect of packaging. So yes, and uh, we will be revealing the, the winners of the special award category for sustainability, for marketing, and for the prestigious president award. So these are secret, nobody knows who are the winners of this special category, you have to attend the World Star Ceremony to see the winners. So it's going to be an amazing place to find innovation, both in World Star Ceremony and IPAC IMA Fairground. Now, Rosano, we know that uh, IPAC IMA and WPO has a long partnership. What do you expect for the future? 
for from WPO and especially what do you expect of this uh, such a huge participation of WPO in IPAC IMA 2022? So, uh, Lilian, first of all, let me say thank you to Soha and uh, to President Pinard and all the WPO team, because uh, since the beginning, I have to say, we had a very uh, good uh, way of exchanging experience, ideas and uh, projects. And also we discussed a lot on the format. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that the number of attendees will grow in this uh, months uh, which we, we, we left before the show uh, is opening but uh, after the um, this uh, obvious uh, let's say uh, greetings let me say that uh, the sustainability is going to be uh, as i said the fil rouge uh, along uh, all the ipakima and pharmatech exhibiting halls uh, perhaps let me mention uh, the packaging speak screen event which is organized by PAC Media, together with the support of Amaplast and Uchima. And uh, that's why, as Soha said, uh, we will have the chance to see the best of the best in terms of packaging, sustainable packaging, green packaging, eco-design packaging, and whatever you can image, image around the circular economy way of uh, approaching the packaging market. Uh, I have to say thank you also to the Istituto Italiano Limballaggio, which is the... Italian body for the WPO, of course, and thanks uh, to this uh, strong relationship with the chance to work together to, with WPO and hosting the World Star Packaging Awards. Don't forget that we will host also the best packaging awards, which are the Italians, uh, Italian awesome. excellencies. And maybe starting from this edition of the best packaging awards, awards we will see some finalists next edition somewhere, uh, which will attend also the World Star Packaging Contest. Having said that, uh, let's say that uh, better quality of life through better packaging for more people is your slogan. So I take inspiration from this uh, and they put together with our slogan, which is connecting businesses. So what I can image for the next future of our relationship is only to uh, strengthen it and uh, having the chance to maybe empower it in the next uh, upcoming uh, editions of Ipakima, uh, which I cannot say uh, because we are discussing internally in which year it will take place. But be sure that during the show, we will announce the next uh, year's edition. Wow, that's fantastic. So we are coming to an end of our talk show and I would like to invite both Rosano and Soha to leave the audience a final message. La ladies first, so Soha, what is your final message today? My final message is that really what a better place than Milano <laughs> to have our award ceremony. So really, we are very honored to be able to organize the award ceremony in Fiera Milano with IPAC IMA. So really get ready. If you didn't, don't have your ticket yet, contact me or contact the team of IPAC IMA so we can help you to get your ticket. You will be seeing the best of the best packaging innovation from around the globe. This year we had 440 entry, really, despite the COVID, we had increase in our entry. And we had 240 winners from 37 countries. So uh, really don't miss this important opportunity to be in contact and finally physical contact, no virtual contact anymore. We, okay, it was good. These two years we managed to have a lot of webinars and a lot of virtual events, but as Rosanna said, nothing can beat the physical uh, element and to see people face to face and to have, as he said, connectivity and business. So looking forward to see you in Milan. Rosanna, now it's your turn. Okay, uh, how can I conclude uh, uh, after Soha conclusion? <laughs> but uh, I'll try, I'll try. And I would like to say that uh, today is going to be the last day of uh, uh, healthy restriction in Italy. Uh, at any case, uh, we will continue to organize our shows uh, here in Fiera Milano, having at the first priority, at the first priority, the safety of our visitors and exhibitors, 
So the mask is going to be com- absolutely obligatory. Um, and uh, all other uh, restrictions that now it's normal for us, but uh, it's uh, useful to be uh, reminded. Uh, back to the exhibition, I would like to conclude with a message uh, um, to exhibitors and visitors which will attend the show. Bring a pure show innovation at the show because Ipakima is the right place at the right time. Make your trade fair experience something that helps you to distinctive, to be distinctive and therefore competitive in an increasingly complex market worldwide. I like to emphasize that we always have a choice to witness change or be part of it. And we have chosen to be part of this change. And for us, the great change starts from Ipakima 2022. So see you in Milan in May from the 3rd to the 6th, and be ready. Ciao. Great. So, Sano and Soha, thanks a lot for being with us today, and especially for giving this incredible overview of what to expect from IPAC IMA 2022 and from the World Star Ceremony. We know this was just a teaser and that there is much more to be seen and expected from IPAC IMA. But one thing is very clear today. Packaging continues being a protagonist at the show and in the various sectors and industries around the globe. Without packaging and without all the innovation packaging carries on, products cannot be efficient. As we always say, packaging is a very important part of the solution for important issues like food safety, safe food, sustainability, digitalization. And I have no doubt that IPAC IMA and World Star winners will highlight all these innovations. So I invite you all to be in Milan in IPAC IMA 2022 from May 3rd to 6th and especially to attend World Star Ceremony on May 4th, also in Milan, during IPAC IMA. And hope to meet you all in another World Pack Talk show. Thank you very much for your audience today. Thank you, Soha. Thank you, Rosano.